Growing questions of mainstream media bias now after CNN cut ties with interim DNC chairwoman Donna Brazile, who served as an on-air political analyst for CNN. It happened after hacked emails from WikiLeaks appear to show she tipped off Clinton allies about another, a second primary debate question. But White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest is defending Brazil. The president believes that she's done a fine job stepping in in a very difficult situation uh, to lead uh, the Democratic Party. Um, look, those of us who've known Donna a long time know that she is a person of integrity uh, and a person of high character. Uh, she's a true professional uh, who is a tenacious and effective advocate uh, for Democrats. Code perhaps where you have a job at least through the election. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is slamming Brazil and the media. Now we are learning CNN President Jeff Zucker reportedly described Brazil's interactions as unethical and disgusting during an editorial meeting today, according to a source with knowledge of the matter. Okay, but what about Hillary Clinton's actions? I mean, are they going to say anything there? Because Donald Trump just asked the question, how come you aren't hearing the media mm -hmm. question mm -hmm. why she didn't turn it in, the fact that she was receiving these questions from Donna Brazil? I mean, that's, it's unbelievable. If this was Donald Trump, would it be much different? That leaves us dumbfounded because what politician would really, I don't know, go on. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think that um, actually on this one, describing it as media bias isn't, isn't quite right. It seems to me that CNN have a perfect right to feel let down by Donna Brazil about the way she behaved. And hmm. to me, this speaks to a slightly different point, but a really important one, which is this sense that... In, especially in Washington, the media, the journalists, the lobbyists, the political operatives, the, t the candidates, the politicians, they're all too cozy with each other. Mm -hmm. They're all moving in the same social circles. They're all hanging out. And that's the kind of insular ruling elite that I think is described as the establishment, whatever you want to call it. I think this speaks to that because she's just in the thick of it is there. It we don't like know how she got in the, the UK. It is, is it? exactly like that. Oh. It's exactly like that <laughs> everywhere. That's how you know. I and I think that's what's going on. I mean, you, with, with this, in a way, it's a fundamental point about this election is that you've seen people really stand up and saying, we are sick of that. We know that you're all mm -hmm. hanging out with each other, doing <laughs> things, scratching each other's backs, moving from your job in, in government to business to lobbying and back and round again. This is all part of that. That's what I think this yeah, is. Yeah, and what's so interesting about what you're saying is why wouldn't, and I understand that Hillary Clinton doesn't want the distraction of this going on right now, but why wouldn't they just let her go from the DNC? And I know it's a week out, and they, but they've already had another chair. I mean, it's not like it's breaking news that they would have another chair, but why not make a stand, as Steve is saying, and, and say, no, we're going to stand on principle and, and we'll get another interim? Because ultimately, election. besides all of us in the media slash political zeitgeist, who cares? <laughs> I mean, that's the problem. Really, when I said, when I, Yes, really. and, I'll, and I'll tell you why. When I'll tell you why. When I said that Donald Trump should have been focusing on things that he focused on today in his speech, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Do you think one voter gives a you-know-what about the fact that <laughs> Donald Brazil may have leaked something in, to the detriment of Bernie Sanders? I, by the way, think that what she did was... In, Horrible. I agree with what Jeb Zucker said. He should probably take a look at Corey Lewandowski still being you know on his payroll. But what it doesn't do, but let me tell you what it doesn't do I'll first. Tell you what it, does what do. it doesn't do is make one person who's predisposed or undecided in this case say, you know what, because Donna Brazil gave us gave, gave a tip off to Hillary right, Clinton what it, what it, ago. But what it does do is feed an ongoing narrative that he has been saying, one, the system is rigged, which it obviously is if Hillary Clinton is getting... He's got his former campaign getting, manager getting, on the and the system was rigged against Bernie Sanders from the DNC. So what? Two... That the media is biased. That's why you look at uh, the media has the lowest approval ratings in history right now because of stuff like this. Is the media on the ballot? Like that, you look at the Media Research Center, who's done extensive research on all this. Uh, Donald Trump, since the convention, is 91% of the media has been bad. ABC, NBC, uh, CBS has only done 10 minutes on Obamacare and premiums increasing. You look at the coverage about the FBI information that has just surfaced. They've attacked Comey versus Hillary Clinton three to one. Well, who's all on right, the ballot? We're going to go. We'll be biased. right back. All right, just one week to Election Day, and until then, the renewed Hillary Clinton email probe promises to remain at the center of the 2016 race. The FBI is said to be using a computer program to sift through the thousands of emails, which were found on a laptop belonging to disgraced Congressman Anthony Weiner, the estranged husband of Hillary's longtime aide, Huma Abedin. Leading experts telling The Wall Street Journal that while the most relevant emails could be pinpointed by Election Day, Analysis will take longer, and the outcome of the probe likely will not be known until after.
after all the votes have been cast. Meantime, reports indicate FBI Director James Comey is not expected to release any more details until the review is complete. And Donald Trump is ramping up his attacks over this email issue. The Republican nominee is citing one of Clinton's longtime supporters. Democrat Doug Schoen worked in Bill Clinton's White House for six years. He recently explained why he no longer feels he can vote for her. He wrote a recent article. He said, I'm a Democrat. I work for Bill Clinton, but I can't vote for Hillary. He went on. I'm now convinced, so important, folks, this is so important because our country has enough problems. He said, I'm now convinced that we will be facing the very possibility of a constitutional crisis with many dimensions and, and you know, this is so true, deleterious consequences should Secretary Clinton win this election. And Hillary Clinton also continues to raise the issue on the campaign trail, stridently denying any wrongdoing. I'm sure a lot of you may be asking what this new email story is about and why in the world the FBI would decide to jump into an election with no evidence of any wrongdoing with just days to go. Now they apparently want to look at emails of one of my staffers, and by all means, uh, they should look at them. And I am sure they will reach the same conclusion they did when they looked at my emails for the last year. There is no case here. All right, Steve, let's start with that first. Uh, Hillary Clinton saying, nothing to see here. I mean, they're denying everything. Yeah, she's, I, I don't think it's surprising. She's got to say something. Um, but I think both candidates would be making a really big mistake if they went on about this. I think that um, for Trump, it's obviously better for him to be talking about her scandals than his own scandals, and we've seen far too much of that in this election campaign. But it's even better for him to be talking about the issues yes. because his message of change is really powerful, as we saw that earlier with, the, with yeah. Obamacare. And so if they think that they just need to keep going after Obamacare's done today yeah. and tomorrow it's back onto emails, that's a really big mistake. I mean, you just called what we heard from Donald Trump a pivot, Julie. Yeah. I mean. And he stuck to his message. That is Obamacare. Newt Gingrich, who is a Donald Trump supporter, sat on this couch a couple weeks ago and said, I wish he would just stick to Obamacare, okay, instead of talking about the scandals. It appears he is staying on that message. What do you make of their strategies seven days? Um, I agree with everything that Steve just said. He should stick to either Obamacare or some other substantive issue because people are voting based on what is going to affect their pocketbooks, yeah. what's going to affect their lives. The one thing I'm going to say about this, e this newest email scandal is, for example, if another woman came out and said Donald Trump inappropriately harassed me, is that really going to make any supporter of Donald Trump suddenly say, okay, forget it, one more woman, I'm not going to do it. The same thing with the emails. Is it really, if you're, mm -hmm. not, if you're voting based on emails, you're already not voting for Hillary Clinton. So you're absolutely right. What, she need, what he needs to do, excuse me, is he needs to go back and focus on issues that people do care about. He's already Scoop got the- up independence he, and maybe some of those undecided. He's, he's already got the people yeah. who are not voting for yeah. her based on the email scandal. So the I FBI, think, go ahead. For, for Donald Trump, I think all he needs to do with this is say for the first time in American history, we have a major party nominee who's facing a federal investigation by the FBI. And if elected, would also be facing twice or an ongoing investigation. And, and if elected as president of the United States, will continue to be facing a federal investigation by the FBI. And make no mistake about it, the only person Hillary Clinton has to blame is herself. And she wants to talk about breaking protocol. Well, guess what? She broke protocol when she took the unprecedented action of setting up a private email server, private email address, using that exclusively, deleting tens of thousands of emails using software so forensic evidence couldn't recover it, and then lying about it and stonewalling the entire time. And the DOJ, Loretta Lynch has no one, nowhere to look either but herself because she is the one who compromised the integrity of the Department of Justice by meeting on a plane with Bill Clinton. Yeah, wow. kind of Lisa's been, Lisa's been fired up about this. I wasn't even going to step in that. But, 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 okay, but I will say this, though. Yeah. With Doug Schoen, who you know, we know him well. He's a Fox News contributor. He's been friends with the Clintons for more than two decades in the White House with Bill Clinton for six years, so on and so forth. For him to step back and say he's reconsidering, he told me yesterday it's not that he's not just going to vote for Hillary Clinton. For the first time in his professional life, he's not going to vote at all. And, and it makes you wonder how many people would look at this. Julie, I understand those who may love her and nothing could ever make them go away. But those who want to be responsible in their vote want to see this legal process play out. So 
President Obama, Hillary Clinton could step up and say, there will be no pardons in the future. We want this to play out well, so you can see exactly what look, happens. I, I, on a personal level, I love Doug Schoen, and he's a good friend. I, I strain well, what do you think about I that? I, I think that we, polling doesn't reflect that Doug Schoen is in the majority here or even in a vast we don't, minority we don't know here. yet, though. Well, we do. Baked in and we, we have. And the race was already tightening. We do. The race was tightening because Republicans were starting to come home regardless of You'd the female 56% scandal. 56% of Americans scandal. After it's saying that they wish that FBI look director the, had made a mistake not recommending an look indictment, at, look at, including 60% look at of the Americans look and 30% of Democrats. Look, look at the Politico morning consult poll. She was up by three before. She was up by three later. I don't see anything tightening. Wait till I don't see anything as what is the of the week. I don't see anything tightening necessarily no, in, in all the swing states. She's you still up in North Carolina. Overnight, uh, oh, he's up a point. But he is, gosh. and I can give you, breath, and, and, I can give you and, and I can give you many polls where she's up a lot. I'm just saying, yeah. you got to let it there, this guys. legal process play Donald out. Donald Trump is she's spending time slamming the mainstream media after a hacked emails appear to show DNC chairwoman Donna Brazil, a former CNN contributor, she is no longer, tipped off Clinton allies about another primary debate question. Is he right to be upset? And why did it take CNN so long to cut ties with Brazil?